The Brown County Music Center is hemorrhaging money in the wake of COVID-19. The county extended the center a lifeline this week, but as Brock Turner reports, there's debate about whether it will be enough to keep the new venue afloat. The Brown County Music Center opened in late 2019. It had already hosted several events and was already turning a profit, but the coronavirus halted shows at the 2000 seat venue in March. Since then, it's been used as a COVID-19 testing site and for various departmental trainings and court hearings. The center's executive director, Christian Webb, says it cost about $10,000 a day to operate the facility. Again, we didn't know, and at the time we signed this, Everyone was running and ducking for cover. People weren't allowed outside their house or, you know, the stay at home order. We didn't know what was going on and what the venue ultimately was going to be used for. The Brown County Council voted this week to transfer $239,000 or about half of its federal CARES Act money to the center. Webb says the money is for services conducted in 2020 and should keep the center afloat for the first half of 2021. During the meeting, Webb claimed the county is getting a deal because the center is providing so many COVID related services. But during the planning and construction of the venue, public officials made multiple promises that taxpayer money would not be used to support the music center. And some residents who spoke out at the meeting say they're worried the allocation will limit the county's ability to respond to other unexpected expenses related to the coronavirus. I don't know how we can spend 50% of our CARES fund when we don't even know what our needs are going to be if we haven't even looked at them. County leaders for their part say the move is both legal and necessary because other avenues to assist the center, like using the innkeeper's tax, don't cover the center's expenses. You know, if you recall at the beginning of 2020, the guidance that we were hearing from up above in Indianapolis was that revenues were going to fall dramatically, 80, 90%. Last April, the county issued a temporary loan to the center, which helped cover loan interest payments. The center still isn't paying anything on the principal to the loan the bank has issued. Most events have been rescheduled, but health experts say it will likely be fall at the earliest before attending events like concerts is safe. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Brock Turner.